I'm at a studio today. This is called the Soho Loft, and I'm shooting some content for Turquoise Lane and Naked Harvest. And it is like so cute. Look at these. I love it. It's got very good lighting as well. Outfit change time. So I just finished shooting um, stories, TikTok and Instagram for Turquoise Lane. Now I've got to do Naked Harvest. I'm doing some content for their Mother's Day bundles. So we've got, it's all pink. We've got a pre-workout, PCAAs, which I've always wanted to try these. So I'm so excited to try them once I finish shooting. And then I've got the strawberries and cream Thrive Plant Protein. So since everything is pink, I'm thinking of either wearing all pink CSB with my AirPods on my head like you know to play the part or I've got all white CSB so I don't know what to do I did do all white last time for Naked Harvest so I don't know if like I should mix it up I just was not vibing the white so I'm wearing pink and I'm visioning that we sit here with the products today but I'm thinking sitting there maybe even on that cute couch I'm happy, I'm very happy. But yesterday I popped into Cook Eye and they so kindly said I could pick out a few outfits. We picked out quite a lot. I tried on genuinely the whole store. I am definitely in my Cook Eye era. I think their stuff is absolutely beautiful. So I thought I'd do a little haul and show you guys what I got because I'm so obsessed and yeah. So the first thing, I tried these on when I was picking out a few things to take home and then I didn't end up getting them. I went home and I couldn't stop thinking about them the whole time. And I was like, I feel like I really need these. I feel like this is like a match made in heaven. So I went back a couple hours later and got them. Um, they are knee high boots and they are like literally perfect. I've always been like anti knee high boots. I don't know why, I just could never get around it. And here I am a few years later buying $300 pairs of knee high boots. But anyway, we did it and I have absolutely no regrets. I'm gonna live in these. I feel like there's nothing else that you can wear on a night out in winter, even though I don't really go out that much, but here they are. They are stunning. Like the heel is like, oh, so cool. Turn off. Okay, so I'm filming a TikTok and a YouTube at the same time right now. We've got this gorge bolero dress. Okay, boots are going on. I'm gonna be like eight foot tall in these, but. This is like a bolero knit maxi and it is so cute. The bolero actually attaches to the dress but I have already managed to rip it off. But like who is she? Like this is my transition out of wearing sports bras all day every day. Now we have this black maxi midi maxi. Yeah, I love it. How, I don't know how to turn this camera off. Okay, this one, I love this and it is so different. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear it, but I think it is so cute. Like, I love it, but. So when I was at Kukai, I posted like a little story series and I posted it wearing this and I love it. And my mum responded going, hmm, not too sure about that um, cream suit. It looks a little bit old lady-ish. So now I'm like a little bit self-conscious because I have definitely seen my nana wear this before. I love it. I hope you like it too because my mum doesn't. I have focus. Okay, so I have this in white and ever since they came out in January, I have wanted the green so bad, but it literally sold out so fast. So I saw they restocked and I grabbed it. I probably wouldn't wear it with these pants or these boots, but it's all I've really got. But it's like a linen halter. Yeah, and that's everything. I'm so stoked and thank you so much, Kukai. You're probably not watching, but I'm so, so grateful. Like I left that shop feeling like so happy. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my haul. Okay, excuse the fact that I'm literally in a bikini and suit pants and knee high boots. I mean, clearly in the middle of getting changed. But I got my beauty loop yesterday and I was like, every time I get the email, I get so excited, I rush there because I think they're gonna run out and they never do. Anyways, by no means am I a beauty guru. I would never know what's good and what's bad. But I feel like this time 
I'm like a little bit disappointed. I'm only level two because I wear makeup like once a month, but this is what I got. First of all, we got a eucalyptus deodorant. It's not really my choice of smell. Kind of smells like head lice treatment. Um, Lano Lips is good. I'm, oh, it's got a hair on it. This one is, it's got so many hairs on it. This one is good. It's strawberry flavor and I love Lano Lips so much, but I gave them all to my mum. Like, that's really good. Mmm. Anyways, then like these things I never use because I don't want to like it because I know it's going to be really expensive. Okay, I don't know what to wear. I know I'm going to wear black leggings, but I'm not sure. We've got black Lexi or we've got the Sierra crop, which is like a bit of a crossover. I'm going to try on the Sierra and then see which one I like better. Okay, and this is the Sierra. I think we're gonna go like see the other one. All right, I don't know how people set up their cameras on their car, but right, so I'm on my way to Brisbane now. I've got the Move With Us Brisbane community event, which is super exciting. I've always wanted to go to one of these. Um, I'm running a workout for all the girls and I'm so nervous, but I don't know why because like it is my job to run group fitness classes every single day But I am very nervous, so I'll try and film but I probably won't because I'll just forget because I'll be so nervous But we've packed some melon for the road This is like all I've been craving lately. So we've got a whole big container of that to smash And yeah, then I'll get home and I'm gonna go out for dinner with my friend Kiara Hello, it is Saturday morning and this morning I had strength testing with my gym coach and we tested a max power clean which I got 80 kilos which I'm very happy with because 82 is my PB so and we didn't fail the 80 it was just ugly so we probably could have kept going and then we did a like AMRAP pull up in neutral grip which I've never done and I I wanted to hit 9 and I hit 14 so I'm happy it's been a good morning and then Oakley and I went on a super long walk and I was literally dragging him the whole way because he's a bit like he's a little bit overweight so he like struggles a little bit when it comes to walking but anyways Boyd and Shan our housemate have just gone to footy and Boyd's actually hosting a poker night tonight for all his footy friends and the house is pretty much a mess I'm going to show you like the state of the house Oakley's in this era where he destroys every toy he has so this is the living room floor where the poker night is going to be happening it's i can't even see we have like all of the stuff in from all his toys all over the floor anyway so boy's clearly freaking out that the house is dirty which he never cares but it's only because like all his mates are coming over so he's clearly a little bit a little bit shy boy so um i was like i'm not cleaning the house i was even though like i was gonna do it anyway but he paid me a hundred bucks Oh, 99.99 to clean the house. So I'm about to do that now. Also, I I am like massively in my like spending money era. I feel like I go through periods in the year. Like I might go like six months and I don't buy myself a single thing. And then I go these like single months where I just fucking spend so much money and I'm in that at the moment. Basically, I was like a little bit tipsy like a few weeks ago and I like really wanted these sandals from Elias May and I got an email when I was out saying that they'd been restocked at like 10 p.m. on a Saturday night. So I bought them because why not? And like everyone has these, I feel like, but I just really need them. Like look at them. I love. Okay, so when I'm while I'm filming this, I'm not allowed to show you guys, but by the time I've uploaded it, it probably would have already been announced. But I got a really sick parcel from CSB yesterday and I really want to show you what it is. It is so different to anything they've ever like released. So just wait. They have puffer jackets and they basically sent me like a little like list of what I was being sent before I received it. And I like was trying to imagine what like all the products were and had absolutely no idea. And it said purple puffer jacket and I was like thinking like lavender, thinking bright purple. This puffer jacket is beautiful. Look at it. It's like such a pretty color. I'm gonna put it on. Like I, it makes me wanna to go to Melbourne so I can wear this. Like, it's really long too. And then I'll show you the other pieces I got. It's like, <gasps> it's like, 
always give me this really beautiful box and they wrap it up like a little Christmas present. And I got these little four inch shorts, super cute. I love my greens. I'm actually wearing green right now. So there you go. And then it's like a longer crop with like an open back. And I'm going to love this in winter because I do like to wear my crops a little bit longer while it's cold. So I got this to Matt. So I missed out on the long sleeve in Izzy's collection and I was a little bit cut and I was going to buy it and I was like, nah, 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 like I got so many white long sleeves, but then I got this cropped long sleeve and it's so beautiful. Like the fabric is so thick and it's got like padding in it and you guys are going to die. I got these like really like in the same color as the puffer, these purple leggings, like so stunning and A purple top with like a cute little like v-neck thing with padding it's like a long sleeve cropped to go with the leggings <sighs> so I'm gonna film a little video on Monday and I think I'm gonna wear the white long sleeve with the purple leggings with the purple puffer I think it's gonna look so fucking cute anyways that's all um today Saturday I'm probably like I'm vlog vlogging is very new to me so I'm probably not gonna bring my camera everywhere because I don't really like to like weird people out by bringing my camera to like events and stuff and while the boys have poker night us girls are going to max Ugh. my god us girls are going to mexicali in nobbies i've never been there i've lived on the gold coast for nearly two years and i've never been to mexicali i feel like everyone has been to mexicali but i haven't been so i'm really excited it's like a um mexican with mexican like banquet like heaps and heaps of food and margaritas and yeah really excited hello uh so my uber is like two minutes away but i thought i would do a quick little fit check for you guys i feel like i literally just whip out my cameras my camera to show you guys what i'm wearing but get used to it so this is my fit top is the new kukai one that i showed you earlier my pants are poly my boots are kukai and most of my jewelry is love struck glue my watch is Apple, my second watch is Warp. And yeah, that's it. Guys, we just announced my activewear collection with Kakiva on Instagram tonight. And I am so glad you guys all know now because that was the hardest secret to keep. We've literally been planning it since this time last year and I haven't been able to tell a soul. So, I hope you guys like it. It is like the most amazing fabric ever. Like, if you think you've felt buttery fabric before, wait until you feel this. It is insane. It's also never been done before. So, yeah, which is super exciting. Oh, I think my boob might be hot. Jesus. Um, but yeah, so exciting. So, I'm going to be flooding all of your feeds. Well, you guys will see this video once I've already done that, but I'm going to be flooding all your feeds with Kikiba X Ome content for the next couple weeks until we drop on the 23rd of May. Um, yeah, it's so exciting. It is nearly my bedtime. It is 7.40, which means it's nearly time for bed for me. And yeah, good night. My car got broken into last night. So I actually find it very ironic because all week or maybe all month, I've been saying no one breaks into my car. My car's the only one in the street that doesn't get broken into. A bit of context about my car. It's 20 years old. I drive a shit box. I have no interest in driving a good car. I love my car. Like it's so old, but like no one will ever want to break into it. It's a shit box. Like why would you want to? Because so many cars in my street have been broken into. And then for the first time, I left my car doors unlocked. And last night, someone's like clearly gone around the street trying to open all the car doors and opened mine and came in. And like, I kid you not, I have so much stuff in my car and like all like random things like my beach umbrella, my massage gun. They didn't take any of that. They only took my gold coins, all my gold coins which is like my slurpy money, which is fine. But like, don't tell Boyd, but amongst the gold coins are like all my expensive jewelry that he's bought me and they didn't even take that. They just took the gold coins. I was like, okay. Clearly my car is like so good that someone wanted to break into it. But yeah, anyway, my car is like literally the same age as me, 
But we love it. We love it. And it works. My car's fine. And I have no interest in getting a new car until it dies. So, yeah. That's like a bit of a story time. Okay. Excuse my mullet. But today, I finally trained in my collection. Here she is. I caught that fucking pan on fire. Do I still have eyebrows? Did they burn off? Jeez. I hope you guys like unboxings because I feel like this entire um, vlog has just been that. This one is Boyd's and so is the Iconic. I bought these yesterday. They um, dropped yesterday morning. I set an alarm, got my hands on them and they came literally in like 24 hours. And I always get asked what shoes I wear all the time. <laughs> Talking these New Balance, they're the 90, 90-60s. It came out with a new colorway, so I had to get my hands on them. And I had to size up because I actually didn't have my size. But are we ready? Oh. That's very different to the color online. I've been catfished. These look huge. Oh. This is them. They look, they look a lot darker in person. They're like a darker grey, but they're still cute. I'm still gonna wear them every single day. Stun, love. They're like, how similar are they to the ones? These are the ones that I'm currently wearing. And then this is what we've got. Oh, no, they're not that dark. Whatever. I just got home from the supermarket. And I got treats for everyone, for me, for Boyd, and for Oakley. So starting off with Oakley, we got him some fresh breath biscuits. Every last week I got him like some peanut butter and some berry biscuits. So I'm mixing it up this week. And then I got him these Booster Chews cranberry. Look yummy, Oakley. Say hello. Say hello. Is this not the cutest dog you've ever seen? Literally. Then, moving on to Boyd's treats, he only gets one. I get two because I'm the boss. These are strawberry dreams, and I'm definitely gonna eat half of them before he gets home, so they're pretty much two and a half for me. And then I got, these are my favorite at the moment. These are all from Cold Scoop and Way, by the way. This is the white chocolate candy um, something balls. And they're so yum, they're like, um, oh, I think it's speckle ball. Um, they're like hundreds and thousands in white chocolate with a big like berry lolly in the middle. They slap. And then I got something new. I got raspberry dark chocolate churros. So I'm gonna give you guys a live reaction. This is like my pre-dinner snack. Mmm. I'm sitting here cooking my dinner and I'm trying to organize a little date night on Friday night for Boyd and I. We have been very busy lately with our respective commitments and we have not spent much quality time together. Luckily we live together so we see each other all the time. But I'm trying to think of what to do on Friday. I'm thinking either one, movies, but I don't really count movies as a date night because you can't even talk. Two, bowling. That could be really fun but like, boys are very competitive, so am I. So it's, like, not very romantic. Number three, dinner on the beach. I've been wanting to do this for, like, ever since we've moved here. Like, 18 months, and it's never happened. But now it's, like, really hard this time of year because the sun sets at 5.30. So it's, like, very early dinner. And I don't like eating dinner at that time. Or number four, we could just go out for dinner. But I feel like we do that all the time. So I don't know what to do. Wait. <laughs> hey, I said wait, wait, wait. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, I'm eating it. Actually, on my way to my PO box, I like literally randomly remembered this morning that I have a PO box. I don't really use it as much as I should, and I haven't been there since probably like March, so like eight weeks, I'd say. We have 
so many parcels. Guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog there. I don't even know how many days I've been filming for, but it feels like forever. Um, and this video is probably going to go for way too long. So I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much if you made it this far. I absolutely loved filming this. This was so much fun. Probably so random. Sorry, I feel like I was just talking nonstop to you guys. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. I think I'm going to start doing some mic'd up gym workouts, but I need to go buy some more stuff for my mic because I'm not very good with this kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, let me know if what kind of videos you guys want to see because yeah. <laughs>